Arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy, or ARVC, is a heritable, under-recognized heart muscle disorder that predominantly affects the right ventricle, increasing the risk of arrhythmias. Progressive loss of right ventricular myocardium and its replacement by fibrofatty tissue is a pathological hallmark of this disease. The cardiac muscle cells or fibers have a single nucleus, they are branched and joined to one another by intercalated discs. The intercalated discs contain gap junctions. The intercalated discs and gap junctions form a syncytium of cardiac cells, allowing the heart to contract in a coordinated, unified manner. Now, mutations in genes encoding for desmosomal proteins, which again are the, the structures important for cell-to-cell -cell adhesion, play a key role in the pathogenesis of ARVC. Issues with cell-to-cell -cell adhesion as the pathological basis of arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy was first described in patients with uh, Naxos disease who had uh, you know, arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy, palmoplantar keratosis, and woolly hair. Now, Naxos disease is a mutation of the placoglobin, a component of the desmosomal complex. It was then found that mutations of the other components of the desmosomal complex was associated with autosomal dominant forms of arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy, including mutations of the desmoplakin, a placophilin 2, which is the most common mutation found in uh, this cardiomyopathy, as well as mutations of desmoglain 2 and desmocolin 2. Abnormal desmosomal complex proteins results in a number of things. So, firstly, Desmosomes are responsible for holding cells together, thus abnormal desmosomal complex results in myocyte detachment and remodeling of cardiomyocytes, and possibly cardiomyocyte death. Desmosomal complexes are also important mediators of intracellular signaling. Changes in signaling is thought to reduce genes for muscle activity, but they will promote expression of uh, adipogenic and fibrogenic genes that contribute to the fibrofatty myocardial scarring uh, I talked about earlier. And so this fibrofatty tissue that replaces the myocardium is what is thought to contribute to the arrhythmias, the ventricular arrhythmias. Loss of desmosomal complexes causes remodeling of gap junctions, intercalated discs, and the surrounding ion channels. Remodeling of the gap junctions and surrounding channels can also play a role in triggering ventricular arrhythmias. The abnormal desmosomal complex and cardiac remodeling that occurs results in the features of arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy, which includes right ventricular dilation and right ventricular dysfunction. You can get regional right ventricular wall motion abnormalities, and there may be involvement of the left ventricle as well. Again, these right ventricular changes are what triggers arrhythmias. The clinical manifestation, this condition is actually not that uncommon. One in 5,000 people, 50% of which have some form of family history. This condition is usually asymptomatic, but symptoms become apparent in the second to fourth decade of life. The most common presentation is palpitations or effort-induced syncope in young adults. The ECG changes, you can get T-wave inversion in the right precordial lead, so V1 to V4, as well as presence of the epsilon wave. The most common arrhythmias found in ARVC include ventricular tachycardia, 
uh, left bundle branch block. However, you can also frequently find ventricular ectopics. The fibro fatty tissue that replaces the myocardium is thought to contribute to ventricular arrhythmias by slowing conduction through the myocardium and also acts as a scar-related macro-entry circuit triggering the ventricular tachycardia. Investigations to perform in someone uh, with cardiomyopathy as well as suspected um, arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy include an electrocardiogram, which we talked about, the signs, echocardiogram, MRI of the heart is the preferred imaging technique. Um, and this is important to evaluate the heart structure as well as the heart function. It's also important to take a family history of any cardiac problems. Arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy can present a sudden cardiac death. However, there is no data really to support uh, the use of implantable uh, cardioverter defibrillator as primary prevention, especially if the person are asymptomatic and have never had any ventricular arrhythmias. Rather, the ICDs, the implantable cardioverter defibrillator, is used for secondary prevention in ARVC. People with um, arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy should also be on a beta blocker. Catheter ablation is a therapeutic option for patients who have had an episode of sustained uh, VT. Finally, patients with ARVC should not participate in competitive or endurance activities. Cardiac transplantation is the ultimate therapy for patients with untreatable arrhythmias or heart failure that is refractory uh, to treatment.